do something exciting, like flying a plane. Yeah. So, so this is your day job, John. What, what does this involve? Right, it's um, selling products to farmers and dairy herds and other herds as well. More they love it, don't just, they? Yeah, they're, they're, they're lapping it up just now. And you, you serve as the other end of the cow as well, I believe. That's right. We, uh, we put another liquid um, and powder onto... Um, their muck, which is stored in a, in a, in a tank, right. and it stops it smelling so much. Couldn't you put a bit more on it around here? Well, I'm trying to speak to the farmer just now, but I'm sure we'll get round to it. Smelly for a city boy. <laughs> Being an airline pilot has got to be one of the most glamorous jobs in the world. Think of Mel Gibson in Air America, or Tom Cruise in Top Gun, Terry Thomas in those magnificent men in their flying machines. But you can't just fly Concord or a Sea Harrier jump jet like that. You've got to go like that a bit and flick some switches too. So you've got to start with the basics. We've taken John to Headcorn Airfield. Morning, John. Jim Stevens. Good morning. I'll be going through the basic principles of flight and yep. be briefing you with regard to operating the aircraft. And then later on we'll be flying the anything you can do banner. So John's not going to learn just how to fly but the special technique of banner flying. Contrary to a lot of beliefs, the aircraft is actually sucked into the air due to the curved shape of the top of the wing, which reduces the pressure on the top surface of the wing and actually lifts the aircraft into the air. Now you need to read through this section of this book so you can understand the full effects of the controls, and then you need to have a good look through this book, and that explains the principles of flight Another principle which we apply, which again keeps the aircraft inherently stable, is the thrust line is arranged below the drag line. It's another examination that you need to do, which is human performance. The rudder surface is controlled through pedals, talking about the coefficient of drag, which is called the turn and balance indicator. This book explains about the navigation. We increase the power to supplement the air. He's tested on all this later. This, this half row V squared, stratigraphic illusion. Be happy with that. I think so. Good. Well, I'm confident you've got all that, and uh, you seem to understand the basic parts of it. Uh, should we go and fly the aeroplane? Mm -hmm. I suppose so. There you go. The banner is laid out carefully with a line attached to be winched up by a swooping plane. And the plane just comes along, sticks it up and off. That's and it. Everything peels off the ground. Works all right in rehearsals, so we should be okay today. All we need is an operator. What we'll do now is do the pre-flight inspection before we actually fly the aircraft. Right. And in the interest of safety, we always make sure the aircraft isn't going to accidentally start as we're doing the walk round. So it's check the throttle's fully closed, the mixture knob's in the lean position, magnetos are off, and we remove the key. Check the struts at the leading edge of the wing, nice gentle push, no loose connections anywhere. Working our way down the fuselage, check the tail surfaces, Working our way around. Flimsy. Pretty flimsy. <laughs> oh, that's splendid. Either side, haul yourself in. Don't want to be too tired just yet. Really tight them up when we're going to crash. Just what you want to hear when you're climbing in a plane. One, two, three. Can you hear me okay? Yep. Good. flying on a private pilot's license.
Let's hope it's second time lucky. conservator swapped jobs with a horse trainer and also we let John Wilson do his dream job although quite why someone would want to fly 